So, 31st of December, the last day of 2020, a crazy year, I might say. The sun is shining a little bit, very shy shining, I may say. These are my panels over here, and I'm really curious about the statistics for this year. Now I can have some results. After six months of uh, working with this uh, Sun GTA L2, with limiter and the last month at least for December I also had this uh, uh, counter here and this is counting the energy from the solar panel to the inverter I'm also I'm gonna have some numbers from uh, son of PWR2 over there so at least I can have a kind of image about uh, what this machine could do in half of year uh, first of all, December was a disaster. It was cloudy almost all month. And then we can talk about uh, production, we can talk about money, why not? But uh, for now, let's see the numbers. Okay, so let's look a little bit at the numbers recorded by son of POWL R02. I didn't know that. Unfortunately, it just keep evidence for three and a half months so we got a September over here 15.85 kilowatts and then we have a October much better with 49.21 November 42 and December it's a total disaster 15.64 kilowatts hour in my old statistics or photos I found this one from July so in fact this was the first month when uh, the inverter starts working because I hooked up uh, at the end of June so uh, I had for July 87.01 kilowatts hour production this is really nice I think with some tweakings for the next year uh, I can reach easily 100 uh, kilowatts in the summer months but uh, like I said before the average efficiency it's like 65 percent 66 percent or something so if I need if I want to have more production I need some more panels so at least 300 watts of panels more and now let me show you the statistics from uh, from the machine itself so I have a few photos over here this is for December uh, in 1st of December I hooked up this uh, energy meter so uh, you can see there I gain from uh, from the solar panel 9.93 kilowatts hour this is bruto I may say this solar bruto in and uh, the system delivered 266 amps hour and it was up or let's say producing for 79 hours like I said December it uh, December was a disaster luckily the machine have his own energy counter here and look over here we had a total of 355.7 kilowatts hour that's the whole production made from July in fact the end of uh, the end of June so if we count that 355.7 times 16 cents that's how much is one kilowatt here that gives a result of 57 okay let's say around 57 EU like 57 euros that was the production from 1st of July to 31st of December 2020 if we consider that GT 
IL2 was around 250 euros that means I need another let's make a round number a 100 euros per year production Th that's an easy number let's call it so to have this paid I need at least two and a half years for now all I did it's 57 euros so I need another two years until the GTIL2 inverter with limiter will be paid yeah you may say it's really worth it it's not worth it of course it's not worth it but as long as I start experimenting things with batteries and solar panels I think it's worth it because it's my fun and it's my hobby and this is the most important thing like I said before with some tweaks you have to keep it busy because uh, this machine is listening all the time the consume of the house so uh, sometimes it's going down to 150 watts or maybe 200 watts you know so I have to find a way how can I say to uh, to censor that so when the machine is relaxing but it's plenty of sunshine somehow to to get in with charging some extra batteries or even a heater or a boiler that's much better to have some hot water and uh, to harvest as much as possible I think most of the time let's say like maybe 50% of the time the machine is either or just producing a 100 to 150 maybe 200 watts hour it's just a matter of keeping the machine busy what should I say at the end of 2020 it was a really crazy year with all this pandemic but I have to admit and uh, God's sake for that the internet is keeping all us together with our hobbies and our stories so God bless the girls and the boys that made this happening the internet it's a I don't know it's maybe the first wonder of the world because it keep us together and with this kind of pandemic stuffs made me realize that we are all the same in this world so we are suffering together we have to fight together and let's hope for uh, 2021 the next year for a better year and uh, to get rid of this crazy pandemic anyway thanks again to all that made this possible thank you also for watching my channel and uh, i promise i'll be back with some new projects and some other crazy ideas or fixings or resolves and wish you well be happy and don't forget we are all the same bye bye